<laughs> well, you should have seen the look on Lester's face when he found his sneakers filled with the shaving cream. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're not Alice. No, I'm not. I'm Kay. Hi. Hello. Hi. Where's Alice? Gone. And you are... Marcia. What do you mean, gone? Left. Packed up. Went. And you are... Greg. Where? Back home. For good? Seems so. Alice took off just like that? I can't believe it. You can believe it. Thanks. Gee, I never thought Alice would leave. We were just kind of ignoring her for squealing on us. She didn't even say goodbye. She could at least left a note. I guess she just doesn't like us anymore. Well, if that's the way she feels about it, it's okay with me. Maybe she's doing us a big favor by leaving. You said it. Yeah. Let's look on the bright side. At least we won't have to worry about being snitched on anymore. Right. No more of Alice's reports to Mom and Dad. I bet Kay's not a snitcher like Alice. Yeah. Maybe we'll like her even better. We probably will. Sure. Hey, Kay, I bet you can't work this puzzle. Sorry, I don't have time for puzzles. Alice used to bet with us all the time, remember? She could never work the puzzle. Sure she could. She could not. She could, too. She just wanted to make you feel good. <laughs> Give me a coin, come on. Hey. Hi, Kay. Hey, Kay, how about you and Peter against me on two-on-one? Sorry, a housekeeper doesn't play basketball. She keeps house. But Alice used to play with us. <laughs> yeah. In fact, he used to crack me up the way she shot the ball. <laughs> yeah. Watch this, Kate. Spread her legs real wide, right? She'd line it up. <laughs> that was Alice. I'm Kay. We'd uh, kind of like to talk to you. Sure. What's up? Well... We want to talk to you about Alice. Alice? What about her? Well, we think we know why she left and took the other job. It was our fault. All of us kids weren't being very nice to her. We're sort of giving her a cold shoulder treatment. Cold shoulder? Well, we figured that she wasn't our friend anymore. Why on earth would you think a thing like that? Because she was squealing on us. Squealing on you? Like with Pete and me breaking the lamp? And me leaving the record player on? For your information, young man, Alice didn't squeal on you. I asked her to tell me what happened, and I told her I wanted to know the truth. And as for you, she had absolutely no idea why I asked her about the record player. Absolutely none. She said that, and I didn't believe her. Oh. Well, we never wanted her to leave. Can you blame her? We're sorry, Mom. We all want her back. I'm afraid sorry won't help. Sometimes when you push people too far, you just can't bring them back again. Come on, Marsha. 